This video will teach you how to use basic animation effects in your Sprout, specifically how you can change the way an object shows up or disappears from a page. Look at this here. I have an image on the background master page. Now I'm going to go back to the content page, and I'm going to use this image from the asset manager. Cool. Now let's decide how we want this image to show up on the page. Let's say I want it to fade in slowly. I click on the object, and up pops the property box. Click on the effects and animation header to open the menu. In the default state pull down box, select page show. This means the object will animate when your sprout page pops up. Now let's choose fade in from the add an effect pull down menu. You can adjust how long you want the fade to be, how long a delay there should be before the object fades in, and if you want to ease the object in or out. Let's click on preview and see how it looks. Lovely. But I've decided I want a different effect. Maybe a slide in effect would be more interesting. So I exit the preview and go back to the properties box. Click on the X to get rid of the fade in effect. Let's go to the slide in effect instead. You can change the same settings as with the fade in effect, but now you have this new option, direction. This means you can decide what side of the sprout your object will slide in from. I'm going to choose left. Now let's preview this. That looks appropriately terrifying. You can also apply these animation effects to your object when your sprout page goes away as well. Exit preview, go back to the properties box. If you click on the page show drop down box, you can also choose page hide. You can use animation effects to fade out or slide out of the sprout page. I'll have my image slide out on page hide. I'll click on preview. That looks great. And that wraps up how to use animation effects in your sprout.